Empaths, it's the festive time of year and while I wish you a restful, peaceful time and also time for reflection about what you want for 2024, I think it's also important to stay empaths if you have a narcissistic individual in your life who is controlling, manipulative and has incredible power over you, this is not necessarily a season of merriment. It is time to be strategic and conscious about the way that you handle these all-consuming people in your life. And if you feel empowered to start now, then who knows what 2024 could look like for you. It could be very different indeed. Firstly, if you're dealing with a family member at this particular time of year, start to think about what you need to do to protect yourself. What I'm talking about here is being proactive. Many of us empaths end up being reactive and that is not great for our greatness. So for example, if you're meant to do Christmas dinner with individuals such who have narcissistic tendencies, actually ask yourself, rather than just dragging yourself into these situations, ask yourself, does this work for me? Empaths, we are not great at asking self-inquiring questions. Ask yourself, does it work for you? Simple answer, yes or no. No over explanation, no justification. Does it work for you? If it doesn't work for you, empath, you need to start to consider what your choices are. We all have choices. Issues with empaths is we're so people pleasing. We don't actually take an opportunity to reflect on what choices we have. What different choices can you make this year to protect yourself? Now, if your people pleasing is deep and entrenched and the thought of you doing something different is so overwhelming that you can't cope with that, absolutely fine. But do think about what strategies you will need in place to best protect yourself. Remember, no one is coming to save you. You must learn to save yourself. You have to learn self-advocation. If you don't, people will advocate on their own behalf and use you as a tool to placate their lifestyle. And if that has got you to the point where you're depressed, lost, don't know who you are anymore, then a revolution may well be needed in your life. And as I say every single time to the people on Navigate Narcissism Now, my online course where we're supporting empathic people to evolve and grow, we start small. The revolution will not be televised, but we always start small. Secondly, if you feel compelled to spend your Christmas season with someone who's narcissistic because the thought of saying no is so overwhelming to you, I absolutely get it. It's understandable that this can also happen to you. But do begin to think about your need to gift give. Often us empaths go above and beyond. Do you need to gift give at the same level, at the same cost, at the same expense? Remember, empaths, depending on where you are at on your journey, people can take liberties with us and we often can be under the illusion that by being kind, people will value and appreciate us. And if you've got to the point where you're exploited, used and abused and frustrated or feel that these people have a sense of entitlement, entitlement and you're feeling bitter and resentful, it might be time to have a call with your girl Key because these people are ruthless in their desire to feed their own needs. And actually, we can learn a lot from them. I'm not suggesting we go to the far extreme that they've gone to, but actually they can teach us a few life lessons about self-advocacy. Empaths, we're not great at self-advocacy. Lastly, protection of yourself is of the utmost importance at this time of year. And as the end of the year arises, I'm encouraging you to reflect on what you want for your life in 2024. What do you want your life to look like in 2024? Remember empaths, when we're dealing with a narcissist, they are all consuming in terms of energy. And if your energy is being plowed in that direction, it's highly likely the energy that is needed for the fruition of your own dreams and ambition is being thwarted. Therefore, your energy is being directed here 
and your own dreams and ambitions are being blighted. For some of us, we don't even know what dreams and ambitions we have. Our life has been lived in such servitude of others. So my encouragement to you is take time out, vision board. Maybe you want to join us on Navigate Narcissism Now to have an example of what it might be like to bring your vision to life is to take time out to ponder upon what you want for your life. When we're dealing with narcissists, our energy gets directed there and therefore we do not focus on self. It's how you become depressed and anxious. They take too much from you. And if you're at a point where what you're doing is no longer working and you need support and companionship, reach out to your girl key because you are far from alone. I hope this video and these three tips about how to deal with narcissists in the Christmas season has been beneficial to you. Do take care of you because if you don't, no one is coming to save you. You best learn to save your precious self. That's the truth. Peace.